Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a haul on some drugstore products and some high-end products. I just bought a mixture of everything. Um, I made a BH Cosmetics order and got a few things and I ordered from Beauty Bay and I also, also ordered from Exo Beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that I bought. So the first thing I have to show you is from Exo Beauty and it is the False Lash Set in the Party Stack. Um, so it comes with one, two, three, four, five sets of lashes. I'm wearing one of the pairs today. I'm wearing the Brave. But it comes with the Hero, the Wild One, the Sinner, the Brave, and the Rebel. And these are meant to mimic mink lashes, but they're not actually mink lashes. Um, I don't personally wear mink lashes myself. I just don't agree with taking hair from an animal just so I can wear it on my eyeballs. Like when there's synthetic hairs you can use. Um, that's just my personal view on it. So I don't like wearing mink lashes, so I really mm. like the fact that these sort of look like mink, but they're not. Um, and they feel beautiful, they're so soft and really good quality, and the band isn't too thick either, which I find a lot of mink lashes are, so I really like wearing these ones on the eyes. They're very comfortable and I'm very, very impressed by them. And for the price point, I think they're amazing. And I did buy another pair of single eyelashes. I bought the Gold Digger, which look like this. I've already worn them in a tutorial. Um, but they're basically like thinner on the inner and outer corner. And then in the middle, they have just thicker lashes, um, which I just really like the look of these. And they're very natural, and again, the band is so thin on these ones, so they're so easy and comfortable to wear. Another thing I bought from Exo Beauty is the new Flawless Finish... Is this what it's called? Is the new Flawless Finish Sponge, which basically looks like a beauty blender. It's a bit more dense than a beauty blender. I'm going to do a whole review and comparison video on this sponge compared to the beauty blender, because they are quite similar. Um, but yeah, I used it to apply my foundation today. It is damp at the moment, so that's the size it goes when it's damp. And so far, I am liking it. Um, but keep your eyes peeled for that video, because I definitely want to do a full-on comparison video and give you guys my, like, in-depth review and thoughts. So, yeah, I bought this one, and it is a lot more affordable than the regular Beauty Blender. And then the last thing I bought from the XOV website was the bronzer brush. So this is what it looks like. This is the new brushes, so made in Italy. Um, absolutely beautiful packaging. I do have some of her older brushes that I love too. Um, and it's just super soft, super high quality. I used it to apply my bronzer today. Um, and I'm very impressed. I really, really like this brush. And I feel like it's the perfect size, it's not too big, so that you could use it to set your under eyes or use it for blush, or you could even use it for highlight, to be honest. Um, I feel like it's a very versatile brush, so that's the last thing I bought from the Exo Beauty website. Speaking of brushes, I was sent from Sigma the new baking and strobing brush set. This is coming out on August 22nd, and let me tell you guys, I am so, so, so highly impressed by these brushes. So the set comes with one, two, three, four, five different brushes um, that look like this. I will have a review up on my Instagram um, going in depth about them kind of thing, but I am very, very impressed. Um, I love Sigma brushes and that's why I work with Sigma because I just think they're amazing quality. I just love them so much. So the first brush I have is the Sigma Bake Kabuki or the F89. So it's just like an angled face brush, but it's very sort of wide and, I don't know, it's just the perfect shape to sort of bake underneath your contour, bake underneath your eyes, or you could use this one for cream contouring or foundation. I feel like it's a very versatile brush, so I'm absolutely loving this one. Um, yeah, it's just the perfect size, it's super soft, but it's still quite dense, so it's the, I don't know, it's just the perfect kind of brush. The next brush I'm absolutely obsessed with, and it is the Concealer Blend Kabuki, or F79. It's shaped like a sort of tapered brush, and it's again a synthetic brush. Um, and I used it to blend out my concealer today. It is absolutely a dream to blend out concealer. I don't like brushes to blend out concealer generally. I prefer a sponge, um, or it has to be a really good brush. And I loved this for my concealer. I'm so impressed by it. And I feel like you could also use this to set your concealer under the eyes. 
um, or contour your nose or even use this as like a cream contouring brush or something like that. Um, I'm super obsessed with this brush. I'm so impressed by it. The next brush I have is the Sigma Bake Precision or the P89. Um, it's very, very small and it's basically just a mini version of that first brush I showed you guys. So perfect for getting right underneath the eyes in those corners, concealing around the nose and all of those kinds of things. Or I also feel like this one's going to be great for contouring the nose with like cream products. Um, it's just that perfect shape to sort of get in those lines. So this one feels really good as well. The next one is called the Powder Sweep or the F06. So it's like a little... It's kind of like a little contour brush, but I used it for highlighter and I really love it. I used it to apply my highlight today and it just gives me that perfect, perfect glow. Um, and just applies on the cheekbones in a... It just fits the cheekbones. Like, I love it for that. You could definitely use this to set underneath the eyes. Um, or just multiple things. I really like the shape of this brush and it's super soft. And then the last brush from the range is the Strobing Fan Brush, so the F42, and it's a little fan brush. I love the size of this. The other fan brush that I have from EcoTools is just really, really big and bulky, so it apply applies a lot of product on the cheekbones, whereas this one is just like the perfect size to fit right on that cheekbone. So I feel like this is going to be absolutely amazing for hi highlighting. Sorry, I'm sick and I'm trying to talk so fast. I should just slow down. <laughs> So I am super excited for this brush and yeah, I can't wait to be using these more and I feel like these are going to be really incorporated into my everyday makeup. And I do have an affiliate code for Sigma if you guys are interested. I do earn money off that code, um, so if you're not happy to do that then you don't have to use it. You can go straight to the Sigma website. But if you are interested, my Sigma code's always listed down below and I am really appreciative of anyone who uses any of my affiliate codes or links, um, it means the world to me, so thank you guys. Next I'll move on to the products I bought off beautybay.com. So the first thing I got is this Pure Cosmetics Miracle Mist. So this is the box that it comes in and I got this because it was quite affordable and my skin has been so dry this winter. Um, so you get a massive bottle, it's absolutely huge. And it just is a hydrating and setting mist. So I haven't used it. I have sprayed it to smell it. And I'm not a huge fan of the scent. It kind of smells very natural and citrusy. But it does say on the packaging that it is a... Does, in, does contain citrus oils to refresh the skin's appearance. And fulvic acid nourishes with minerals and amino acids. So it does have the citrus in it. So that's why it would smell like that I guess. Um, but it just says it instantly hydrates dry, tired, and stressed skin and helps set makeup for a long-lasting perfection. So um, I'm very interested to try this out. I've never tried anything from the Pure... I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. The Pure Cosmetics range or the Pure range at all. So um, I wanted to grab something and give it a go. So that was what I picked out from that brand. The next thing I got I'm so excited about and I'm going to be doing a first impression and review on it and it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I got the shade 02 Natural which is still quite dark but it does look like it's going to be a pretty good match I hope. Looks like it's got a yellow undertone which is what I like. So it says it's medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil free formula, long wearing, sweat, water resistant and sweat proof. So claims to be quite good and it does have a pump which is amazing and it was very affordable so I'm so excited to try this out. And I also picked up another Milani product. I picked up their Amore Metallics Lip Cream in the shade Matte About You. So it's this very bright corally shade and yeah, it's one of the metallic lips which is really on trend at the moment. Love the packaging. I feel like it's very um, high class for a drugstore brand. So um, I'm yet to try this out but I will try it out and see how it goes. Hopefully it does last long on the lips and that I like the colour. I think I'll like the colour. It's a nice like springy summery colour I feel like. Next I picked up from LA Splash a crystallised glitter. So this is the little packaging that comes in. Um, it's just like little cardboard. I got the shade Angel's Tip, which is a sort of silvery gold colour. Um, how cute is this packaging? Can we talk about it for a moment? 
It's like a little ball with a rose gold lid that... Oh, I've done that really tight. Like, that is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. So it comes with a little sifter. I haven't used it yet, but it does look like quite fine glitter. So I'm very excited to give this one a go, and I will probably purchase more colours if I do like this. And to go along with that, I got the LA Splash Till Midnight Elixir Eyeshadow Primer. Um, it says it's water resistant, so it again comes in like a cardboardy packaging. And inside it's in a little dropper bottle with a rose gold lid kind of thing. So I really love the packaging. Um, I'm not sure if this is considered drugstore or if this is like more high end. So yeah, I'm not really sure, but it was pretty affordable. I think this was about $20 and the glitter was about $18 or $17 possibly. I can't quite remember. Um, but I feel like with products like this you don't use a lot. So I decided to pick this up because I wanted something to use as like a glitter primer because using eyelash glue just isn't the most comfortable thing in the world. Um, so yeah, I picked this one up as well. I also got another one of my favourite shampoos. It is the Sexy Hair Blonde Sexy Hair Bombshell Blonde Shampoo. Um, I love this stuff. It works so well in my hair. It smells like heaven. It lathers up so well. It's just my favourite shampoo. I just love it, love it, love it. Oh my god, it smells so good. Um, I'm going to do an updated hair care routine very soon for you guys, so this will definitely be in it, and I'll go more into depth, but I picked up another one of these off this purchase. And then the last thing was just a little free gift, and it is the This Works Energy Bank Skin Glow. It's an anti-aging skin fuel for an energized complexion. It's just a little mini sample. But I do like Beauty Bay for their samples, because they do give you quite a bit of product, like... It's only 3 mils, but it's good to try out, and um, they also let you pick from a whole range of things what sample that you get, so um, that is a perk that you get with Beauty Bay, and I do really like that. I picked up two of the e.l.f. Studio Baked Blushes from Kmart. Um, so I got the shade Peachy Cheeky, which I am not impressed with at all. It's like a light pinky baked blush shade. Tried to use it today and it has no pigment, literally nothing comes out. So I'm very unimpressed with this one. Not happy at all, but what can you do? I just wanted to try it out. Um, but the other shade I got is Pinktastic because I know Kathleen Lights raves about this one. And I love this. It's not exactly a blush. I used it as a highlight today. Um, I don't know why they've labelled it as a blush because... It's got like this tiny bit of pink in it, but the rest of it is like a champagne colour. So, um, as I said, I did use it as my highlight, and I love this. It's got heaps of pigment, and it comes off really beautifully on the skin. So, this one is good, the other one is not. And then the last portion of the haul is going to be from BH Cosmetics. I did quite a big order. Um, I just wanted to get some stuff, so I picked up quite a little bit of stuff. Quite a little bit of stuff. So the first thing I got is the Shanexo palette. This is the main thing I wanted to go on there and get. So I did a tutorial using it today. You get nine eyeshadow shades which look like this. They are absolutely gorgeous and I'm so impressed by the pigment and everything in this palette. It is absolutely beautiful and the colours are right up my alley in the eyeshadows. Like, I love them. And then the lip colours, you get nine shades as well. Um, I use this nude colour down the bottom. It doesn't have a great deal of pigment, but it is nice and it did show up nicely. It feels creamy and all of that kind of thing. So um, I am quite impressed with this as well. I think she's done an amazing job with this palette and she should be super proud of it. And then to stick with the YouTuber collaboration theme, I got the Carly Bible palette, which looks like this. Um, this one's been out for quite a while, but I thought I'd get it as well. So this one has 10 eyeshadow colours and 4 highlighter colours. So the small ones are obviously the eyeshadows, and these larger ones are the highlighter shades. So yeah, I like the colours in this as well. There's not that many matte shades. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 matte shades. Well, I suppose there's 5 mattes and 5 shimmers. Um, but you could also use the highlight shades as eyeshadows as well. Um, so I wanted to pick this one up and support Carly because she's one of the first YouTubers I ever, ever watched. I loved her so much. I still do. 
Um, but yeah, I just thought I would get it and support her. I did use this once already and the pigment was beautiful. I just love BH Cosmetics. I think they're so good for their um, price and yeah, I was very impressed. And then I got another eyeshadow palette. I am so excited about this. This is the Foil Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. So it's basically 28 foiled eyeshadows. So packaging looks like this. It's got a, sort of a frosted plastic over the top. And then this is what the inside looks like. So you get so many different colors. I love how colorful this is. And they're all foiled and so, 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 so pigmented. I am in love. I swatched a few colors the other night and I took a few Snapchats and I had people screenshotting it. And I was like, yeah, people like the look of this too. So I'll swatch a couple of the colours, I won't swatch all of them in a close-up because there's so many, um, but I'll swatch a few of them so you guys can see the pigment, um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and it was so affordable as well. I forget how much I paid for it, but it wasn't very much and I'm very, very impressed. And then lastly, I picked up four of their liquid lipstick shades. So the first colour I got is called Sorbet and it is this really nice pinky, peachy kind of colour. Um, I haven't tried any of these out yet, so I have no idea what the formula is like, but they just come in a standard doe foot applicator packaging. Um, they don't really have much of a scent. I mean, they do have a scent, but it's not anything too strong. And it kind of looks pretty similar to the Kylie Jenner um, lip kit packaging, I think. I don't have any of those, but I think they look like that. So yeah, the first shade I got is called Sorbet. The next shade I got is called Tabitha and it's a very cool toned purpley pink colour and I love the look of this. It's like so my colour. I love cool toned pink shades so I definitely wanted to pick this one up. The next colour is more of a dark browny sort of nude shade and it is called Clara. So, yeah, it's definitely more on the brown side and it's got quite a bit of pigment by the looks of it, it's going to be quite dark, um, but it definitely looks so beautiful, it's very fall appropriate I think. So again it's called Clara. And then the last shade I got is called Sandy and it's a very pale kind of true nude colour, I feel like it's very true to being a nude shade. It's got a little bit of pink but it's very beige, very nude. So again, that one is called Sandy. So that is it for this haul video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the stuff that I've recently picked up. If there's anything that you want me to, you know, do tutorials or reviews or swatches, anything like that, please let me know down below and I am happy to do so. Um, but apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! So the first brush I have is the, is the, the next brush I'm obsessed with, ooh.